Well, a vacancy of person also, although a, a potential reappointment on the airport board. Uh, uh, four seats on the Board of Zoning Appeals, uh, two seats on the Electric Utility Board, uh, and four seats on the Planning Commission. Uh, we gave proper notification, accepted applications. Council members and uh, committee members reviewed the applications. Uh, a committee of uh, Steve Shoot, Corey Roberts, uh, Cheryl Harrison Lee and I uh, interviewed the candidates. Uh, we conferred on uh, who to select for nomination, uh, notified the council, and I am bringing the appointments forward this evening as mayor. Uh, so that being the case, we've got uh, a, an appointment for the airport board, uh, the uh, uh, committee and uh, selected and I am bringing forward for appointment uh, Raymond Doerr uh, for uh, a term on the airport board. Any questions about Raymond Doerr? I would entertain a motion to appoint Raymond Doerr to the airport board. So moved. Second. Motion Fotovich, uh, second Freeman, that we appoint Raymond Doerr to the airport board. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Raymond Doerr is so appointed. Uh, for the Board of Zoning Appeals, we had a, a, a bit of a uh, situation. We have uh, four open seats, two uh, that are the uh, that have been brought forward because uh, the seats were vacated. Uh, Tori Roberts, when she joined the, the City Council, and Andy Copeland from the Planning Commission, uh, he's moving from the city. Uh, we also had two people up for reappointment, uh, and that is uh, Mike Hutton and Kip Wilnauer. Uh, as it turns out, in the governing body rules of procedure, there is a, a uh, term limit of eight years. Uh, but it is a, a guideline as opposed to a hard and fast rule. And as Mike and Kip both have served longer than eight years, but they were the only two applicants, we're going to have to go back out and try and get two more applicants for the Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, we're going to do that aggressively and very soon. Uh, Can you... Um get somebody from the planning I mean, are there other opportunities? Can people serve on multiple boards, I guess is what I'm saying? Uh, you know, in the past, people have, uh, the way that it, the, the rules of procedure read, I believe, uh, doesn't allow for that. Okay. Uh, now, that's, they can still do business. Uh, it leaves three people on the board and frees the quorum. And they've met how many times? Once a year. Okay. They met once. Uh, last week? Yeah. Yeah. The last time was uh, or, or week was before last. April. But the time before was, yeah. yeah. So we should have adequate time to, to <laughs> find two replacements and uh, maybe we'll try something a little bit different in the recruiting process this time. I'd encourage council members to uh, consider uh, encouraging their friends and neighbors uh, that might want to serve the city of Gardner uh, to apply for the two positions. That being said, uh, I would entertain a motion to appoint uh, Mike Hutton uh, to the Zo Board of Zoning Appeals. I make that motion. Second. Second. Oh. Uh, motion shoot second Harrison that we approve Mike Hutton for reappointment to the Board of Zoning Appeals. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Yeah. Motion carries. Uh, I, I would uh, uh, entertain a motion to approve Kip Wilnauer uh, to serve a term on the Board of Zoning Appeals. So moved. Second. Motion Harrison, second Freeman, that we reappoint Kip Wilnauer to a term on the Board of Zoning Appeals. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. 
and the Electric Utility Board. We had uh, three people apply. Uh, at this time, I would entertain a motion to appoint Randy Grigorsik uh, to the Electric Utility Board. So moved. Second. Motion, shoot. Second, Harrison, we uh, appoint Randy Grigorsik to the Electric Utility Board. Is there any questions or comments? Uh, the only comment I have is I'm not sure I understand in his application where he says uh, potential move to integrating all utilities into one board. And I guess, how is that? I mean, is that something that we've approved, I guess? No, it's not. No. Okay, so be I can assume that that's something he's going to promote or foster, uh, which isn't really in keeping with the electric utility. But Okay. Uh, any other questions? Okay. Uh, we've got uh, motion Harrison, second Freeman. Motion should second Harrison. Motion should second Harrison. <laughs> then we appoint Randy Grigorsi to the uh, Electric Utility Board. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? No. Uh, motion carries. Uh, <coughs> We've got Lance Boyd uh, for reappointment to the Electric Utility Board. I'd entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Motion Harrison, second shoot that we uh, reappoint Lance Boyd, Boyd to the Electric Utility Board. Are there any questions? I have a, another concern um, on this one. Um, under the box it says, do you have any monetary interest? I realize he's not an investor in the organization he works for. I mean, I, I'm assuming he isn't. I think it's a privately held, I mean, it's a not-for-profit, right? Believe so. But, but nonetheless, I don't, what, what does the city spend on his services, on his company's services? That is a, it does appear to be a conflict of interest to have a person that is on a governing body also uh, benefiting from any action the governing body takes. Uh, I do know that in Ordinance 2296, which establishes the Electric Utility Board, uh, Section 2, it talks about qualifications, and there is specific mention made of uh, members from uh, organizations such as KMEA or Kansas Municipal Utilities would be eligible to serve on the board. Uh, I believe that Mr. Boyd has uh, excused himself from uh, voting on, on matters that uh, involve KMEA. So, I, I, unless anybody else has questions along that vein. Well, he answered the question no, I guess. Yeah, so. Uh, Maybe he should have said yes, but I'm excluded from that consideration. Perhaps. Anybody else have any questions? All right, we've got a motion on the on the floor. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? No. Motion carries. Uh, next item up, the Planning Commission. Uh, we had two seats up for reappointment uh, and uh, two seats that were available due to vacancy. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Sherry Barber, who is here uh, for, uh, oh, I'm trying to remember, she's, Sherry is here for one of the three-year terms. We also have Aaron Weatherford here, he's here for one of the three-year terms. Uh, we've got Raymond Kimsey, who is fulfilling the final two years of Tori Roberts' term. No. Final two years of Andy Copeland's term. Or it's Andy's. Whoever. Yeah, okay. However long he has. Andy. And Adriana Metter here to uh, fulfill the remaining term of uh, Tori Roberts, our fellow city council member. So, 
that being the case, I would 